Good morning. So good to be able to worship with you all again today. Uh, we can't worship in, per in person. We can't worship together face to face, but we can worship together with our hearts and with our souls. Today we're going to talk about a big word. It's called the temptation. Mr. Russell is going to talk about it with the grown-ups later, but right now we're going to talk to you kids about temptation. I know it sounds like a big word, but we all go through it. For example, your mom's baked chocolate chip cookies, and those chocolate chip cookies smell so good. They're sitting on the kitchen cabinet, and they smell so good, and you love chocolate chip cookies, and they taste so good, and you go to your mom and say, Mom, can I have a cookie? And she says, No, you can't have a cookie. Those cookies are being saved for tonight. We're having a party, so we're going to have those cookies tonight. So don't touch them. And then your mom goes to the other room. You're standing there looking at those cookies. Those cookies look so good. You love chocolate chip cookies. You love the taste of chocolate chip cookies. You want one of those chocolate chip cookies, and there's a little party of going, go ahead and eat one. You can take one. Your mom will never know. Go ahead and eat one. It's okay. That's temptation. That's trying to get you to do something wrong, even though you know it's wrong. Or maybe your brother, your sister, or a friend have a toy that you want to play with. You want that toy. You want to play with that toy, so you think, it's okay if I go take that from them. Well, that's not. You know it's not. You know it's wrong, but there's a little part of you saying, it's okay. Go take it. You want that toy. You should be able to play with that toy. That's called temptation. Well, did you know that Jesus was tempted? In Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 4, Jesus had just come from being baptized. He'd been wandering the desert for 40 days without food, without water, when the devil appeared. And the devil decided to try to get Jesus to do something that was against God's will. And so the first thing he did was say, Jesus, you're hungry. You need to eat. You're God's son. Turn those stones into bread and you'll have plenty of food. And this is what Jesus said. He said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. In other words, he told the devil, no, I'm not going to do that. It's wrong to do that. I'm not going to do it. And then the devil took Jesus up to the tallest tower in, uh, of the temple in Jerusalem and said, Jesus, jump. Jump from there because God will send his angels to, to protect you and carry you down. And then you can show everybody you're the son of God when the angels come and protect you. And Jesus said, again it is written, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. In other words, devil, no, I'm not going to do that. It's wrong. Stay away from me, devil. And then the devil tried one more time. He took Jesus at the top of a high mountain and he showed them all the kingdoms of the world and showed them all the treasure and showed them all the glory and said Jesus all you have to do is bow down to me if you bow down to me I will give you all these things and Jesus said be gone Satan get away from me Satan for it is written you shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve in other words devil go away the devil vanished. The angels came down and took care of Jesus. Well, that's what temptation is. It's something that tries to get us to do something that's wrong by trying to convince us it's right. We all go through it. Even though we're little kids, we go through temptation. We are constantly being asked to do things wrong in our heads when we know that they're wrong. So we need to think about what we're doing. We need to think about what's right, what's wrong, and we need to always do what's right because that's God's will. That's what God wants us to do. I hope you understood the story. I hope you enjoyed the story. We will talk to you next week. We will miss you, and we'll see you soon.